genital urinary tuberculosis i am dr venkat krishna professor the tuberculosis can affect any organ system of the body including genital urinary tract the untreated genital urinary tuberculosis can lead to irreparable tissue damage with serious consequences such as renal failure and infertility clinicians should consider tuberculosis in the different differential diagnosis of genital urinary disorders this is the geographical representation of the emergence of the genital urinary tuberculosis from the environment exposure it may enter into the lungs it's called primary tuberculosis or it may enter into the extra primary tuberculosis the persistence of bacilli and latent tuberculosis depends on the immune suppression and reactivation and extra primary tuberculosis in the sites of bones and joints and pleura central nervous system and lymphatic system and genital urinary system in genital urinary system in the kidney testes and ovary the more than 90% of genital urinary tuberculosis cases occurs in developing countries like us and in the developing world the genital urinary tract is the second most common extra pulmonary site after lymph nodes approximately 2/3 of those affect, affected are men the four ways by which genital urinary tuberculosis develops one the hematogenous second ascending or retrograde infection third contagious spread and fourth direct inoculation this hematogenous spread that typical sites of genital urinary syrinx or the kidneys and epididymis the other organs of genital urinary tract becomes infected via contagious spread from these initial landing sites this ascending type of spread after bladder irrigation with the bacilli can match gerian for the treatment of bladder cancer and mycobacterium bovis and genital tuberculosis complicates 09 percent of patients receiving bcg irrigation the clinical features the symptoms and signs of genital tuberculosis are often non specific the patients are often treated for other bacterial infection sometimes repeatedly or and evaluated for possible malignancy before genital tuberculosis is entertained the symptoms correlate with the severity and location of the disease the presentation the 8.4% is asymptomatic less than 20% constitutional symptoms 50% dyseuria 50% of cases storage symptoms and 33% of patients the hematuria and flank pain and another 10% is renal colic comes to the lab findings this sterile pyuria plus or minus hematuria is more than 90% of patients the kidney the mc site of genital tuberculosis the tubercle bacilli first lodge in the periglomerular capillaries and granulomas form in the renal parenchyma and coeslays and goes to necrotic necrotic cavities and form the frank capsis or chronic pyelonephritis then leads to parenchymal and papillary necrosis this is schematic presentation of pathogenesis of urinary tuberculosis from primary complex that is called gone focus it goes to dormant or active form or from the dormant to active from active form it spreads hematogenously and it goes to kidney and the bacilli trapped in the glomerular capillaries then cortical granuloma this active form enters from a cortical granuloma then the rupture into the proximal tubule and then goes to the loop of henle this bacilli trapped in the loop of henle goes formation of abscess or ulcer formation this abscess 
is rupture into the collecting system or this ulcer goes to and leads to basiduria then spreads into the contagi contagious structures like submucosal or lymphatics the various forms one is insidious form is granulomatous interstitial nephritis and disseminated tuberculosis leads to miliary tuberculosis then leads to millet seeds like 3 mm granulomas then it has high mortality then auto nephrectomy it's about 33% in that the casio cavernous and second type is fibrotic type then esrd is about 7% next is squamous metaplasia of renal pelvis then leads to squamous cell carcinoma this insidious form is patients presents with pulmonary tuberculosis and renal failure with or without pyuria have no changes visible on imaging of gastrointestinal urinary tract in these patients the kidney biopsies reveal tuberculosis and induced granulomatous interstitial nephritis and sometimes the renal histology shows granulomas which are sometimes caseating in some patients treatment reverses the associated renal insufficiency then comes to auto nephrectomy in more than localized infection of the kidney the tubercle bacilli become large first in the periglobular capillaries these granulomas form in the renal parenchyma and coagulates when they caseate and cavities with the necrotic material form these can result in frank abscesses and chronic pyloric nephritis and parenchymal and papillary necrosis the clinical features the sinus tracts may emerge along the flanks on examination the findings at this stage can include costovertebral angle tenderness and as infection advances the calyces become inflamed and eventually calcify resulting in calcial distortion and dilatation and stenosis with enough disease progression the kidney becomes non functional the process is called as auto nephrectomy this complication is present in up to 33% of patients with genito urinary tuberculosis there are two types of auto nephrectomy the first is casio cavernous type in which viable tissue is replaced with granulomas and cavities filled with inflammatory exudate and this type of auto nephrectomy occurs with and without calcification the second type is fibrotic which severe scarring and calcification resulting in shrunken kidney these are stages the a the tuberculous papillary ulcer b is cavernous form and it tends to burst like a bomb shell and uh, c is hydronephrosis it's a rare type d is pyonephrosis secondary infection like e coli it is a very prone to supervene c e, the tuberculous perinephric abscess f pseudo calcified on x ray examination this calcified tuberculous areas in the kidney simulates calc G the caseous kidney divided by fibrous septa and H the miliary a part of a general tubercular process. Then comes to ureter. The scarring and structures occur along the ureter wall. The most common at vesico ureteric junction. The pan ureteric structure looks looks like a beaded corkscrew appearance. The both obstruction and reflex can develop then bladder the descending infection begins near the ureteral orifices and then spreads to other areas the doom is most affected the trigone and bladder neck or spade the chronic inflammation and friability and hematuria occurs 
the storage symptoms become more prominent when the capacity is less than 100 ml that called the tumor bladder that capacity is less than 20 ml this photograph shows the tumor bladder is diminutive and irregular urinary bladder simulating a tumor and this photograph shows same diminutive and irregular urinary bladder simulating a tumor. Then comes to epididymis and vas difference, testes and scrotum. Epididymis is the second most common gastro, gastro urinary site affects the vascular globus minor hardened swollen epididymis the 50 percent of patients ulcerate forming the tuberculous sinus on the posterior surface of the scrotum the beaded vas as a result of nodular scarring the granulomas form within the semi seminiformous tubules epithelium mimics the testicular tumors comes to the diagnosis the urinary acid phosph culture the three to five first wide urine samples on consecutive days because the urine is most concentrated at the time. Immediately cultured after collection because the prolonged exposure to the urine acidity can retard the mycobacterial growth. The sensitivity of this test is 80%. The traditional media is solid egg based lumen Jensen media, the time consuming is 4 to 6 weeks. The agar based transparent solid media, the middle broke 7H time, 1 week earlier compared to LG media. Next is liquid based Bactec mycobacterial growth indicator tube, it takes 10 days. The Zeal Nielsen strain sensitivity is less than 5%. Then new Nucleic acid amplification test called PCR results in 1 to 2 days. The sensitivity is 87 to 96 percent. Gene expert assay is CBN at cartridge based NAT detects in DNA of TB bacilli results within 2 hours. The presence of mycobacterium tuberculosis and famicillin resistance sensitivity it's about 100% and specificity is 98.6%. Comes to screening tests. One is tuberculin skin test and commonly called Montox test. Tuberculin is injected intradermally. The reading taken after 48 to 72 hours. And general public is 15 millimeter or more in duration is positive. The workers in high risk institutions is 10 millimeter or more and HIV positive patients is 5 millimeter or more in duration. Then comes to interferon gamma release assay. The blood test that measures the level of IFN gamma produced in response to mycobacterial tuberculosis specific antigens. The quantiferon is TB gold in tube test the sensitivity is 83 percent T spot tuberculosis sensitivity is 91 percent L spot assay then comes to next investigation is plain x-ray the calcification seen in more than 50 percent the initial faint punctuate, punctate calcification leads to globular calcification then lobar pattern pathognomonic and stage tuberculosis and papillary necrosis triangular ring like calcifications and put your cement kidney small shrunken calcified kidney this x-ray shows the kidney ureter bladder radiography view in a patient with the left renal tuberculosis with associated calcification then comes to next investigation is intravenous urography, the useful in imaging early renal tuberculosis. The initially the fuzzy calyx, loss of sharpness and edge irregularities, the 
moth eaten appearance due to calicial erosion, the filling defect in calyx due to papillary necrosis, and clover leaf pattern is calicial dilatation and distortion. And this x ray shows severe calicial and parenchymal destruction. The CT scan with the urography is useful in evaluating the complicated and extensive tuberculosis, perinephric and psoas abscess calcium, and pathology in lymph nodes, liver, spleen, vertebra, prostate, seminal vesicle can be seen. Then comes to the investigation, it's called diagnostic and more cystoscopy and erythroscopy. The non-specific findings seen in cystoscopy, such as local hyperemia, mucosal erosion, ulceration, and granulomatous masses, and irregularity of urethral orifices, and a condition called golf hole urethric orifice is suggestive of tuberculosis. The biopsy should be done if the malignancy is suspected, and the sensitivity of this test is 19 to 52%. These cystoscopic findings, this we can see them, we can see the stages. Comes to the treatment, the medical line of treatment, the standard short course regime of six months and intensive phase of two months of daily INH, rifampicin, and paracetamol, followed by continuation phase of four months of INH and rifampicin is given daily or thrice weekly. The prolongation of treatment for at least nine months is recommended for cases like for extensive pockets of infection and concurrent smear positive cavitary pulmonary disease and CNS involvement or delay in positive cultures converting to negative. Then comes to the role of steroids. The useful in tubercular meningitis and pericarditis. The severe pulmonary tuberculosis are also used to prevent the urethral strictures and bladder contraction. The newer drug is bedaquiline 400 milligrams and for multi-drug therapy. Comes to the surgical management. 55% of TB patients will require surgical management. The optimal timings of surgery is 4 to 6 weeks after starting medical therapy and allows active inflammation to subside, the bacillary load to decrease and the lesion to stabilize. The procedures to relieve obstruction like stenting or percutaneous nephrostomy. This nephrocutaneous fistula can develop. This is a photo shows this urethral stent and placement. This photograph shows percutaneous nephrostomy. And comes to the procedure nephrectomy. The indications, first indication is non-functional kidney and recalcy trench or recurrent TB dispatch optimal medical therapy and medically resistant hypertension. Comes to open surgical options. The long complex structures required open surgery and dismembered pyloplasty is feasible for extra renal pelvis with short segment scarring. The flat Pyloplasty is recommended for long structures and urethrocalcicostomy if pyloplasty is not feasible and urethroeurythrostomy and Davis intubated urethrotomy. And urethroneocystostomy and ileal ureter augmentation of cystoplasty is recommended if the bladder capacity is less than 100 ml and substitution cystoplasty if capacity is less than 20 ml, transurethral incision of bladder, neck contracture cases, and transurethral fistula make 
patient may require propubic cystostomy and epididymectomy if the medical therapy failed and scrotal architectomy. The multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, the resistant to INH and rifampicin, the cure rate is 50 to 60 percent and extensively drug resistant tuberculosis, the resistant to INH rifampicin and any fluoroquinolones and at least one of the injectable aminoglycosides like amikacin or canamycin or capriomycin. The cure rate is 30 to 50 percent. Thank you.